Did you expect to get ten thousand dollars all plus for the new scholarships to be in? Oh, okay. Former player, uh, the, uh, twenty-five thousand. All right, being seven o'clock, open this uh, meeting of the zoning board of appeals tonight. Uh, Dan is going to be a voting member. Um, so the only thing in front of us is 54 Lakeshore Drive. Can I have a motion to open the public hearing? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Dan. For the record, I'm Dan Doherty. I'm here with Brian and Leslie O'Neill. They're kind of infamous right now for the people who live on Nab Lake that their house burnt down, unfortunately. So we're here tonight asking for some relief from some of the things we uh, uh, designed a new house to go on this property. I think you have that in your packet, but uh, essentially what we've done is we, uh, when we redesigned the house, we, we kind of went, I went to the building department first and uh, we're saying so long as my nonconformity wasn't any, making anything any worse, then I'd be okay. Uh, we did push the house back. We did a couple things that we knew that the conservation would like and see it on the plan. We've actually reversed the gable end actually faces the street so we can have the runoff go off to the sides the way it is now. Both both gables faces the lakeside. But also if you notice on the top the existing septic tank uh, is being moved from the waterfront back closer to the street as well. So we made some some several improvements in the design. We incorporated that into the design. But we, what we also did in the design was we incorporated, uh, let's stop that picture right there. If you look at the third picture to, uh, I guess, to your left, there's a set of stairs there. There's six steps that go up and uh, a landing and then six steps that go down. We incorporated that into the build, thinking it wasn't gonna be, it was gonna be the same non-conformity. But Henry says the fact that there's a foundation underneath it requires that forced us to come here, I guess. So that and the fact that it's with demo, demo in the house. So that's the relief we're kind of looking for. We don't need any relief for the street side because we have plenty of room on that side. And we're pushing the whole foundation seven, seven feet back from the lake now. So I think everything else is pretty much in compliance. We're staying the same thing on both sides. The only issue that came up too, and this came up uh, just through an email, there's an existing shed that shows on the property and uh, the fact that uh, it's been there for over 25 years, I think grandfathers it in, but we probably should address it because I know that's something that Henry seems to be chasing down and making people to come to this board for. So if we can incorporate that and in, that it can stay in that same spot, that's all we'd be looking for there, not to do anything with it. So. Is that the one that the shed had also burned? No, no, no the, the yeah. shed next door burnt. Oh, is the, na the neighbor's shed? The neighbor's okay. shed in the fence. Okay. Yeah, they were damaged to both sides of the house. This right. one's a complete loss. What's that little ramp next to it? The, the ramp next to it? Mm -hmm. See right there, yeah. I don't know what you're referring to. That's, that's, the, the, uh, that's a where stone. the paved driveway ends and then the walkway starts. That's a walkway. Not that, a yeah. That's the end of the paved driveway, then yeah, it goes to a brick walkway. It's a little thing of asphalt pulp. Yeah. But the, 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 the rubble on both sides, those are going to be stone trenches for runoff for the conservation, really. Oh, okay. But other, other than the fact that it's, it's a larger volume, like I say, that we're moving it, you can tell from the, the solid line versus the dotted lines where the old one was versus it used to, on, the, on the lake side, it had a screen porch in the front on the dotted line. Uh, that's not going to be covered. That's just going to be solid deck now. There's the open air deck. There won't be any roof on that. So we push that closer to the road as well. So. Okay. And uh, this is this is this is would be facing the lakeside, but you can see from where the the runoff would be for the what we did for the conservation. We changed the roof pitches. The way it is now, that'd be reversed, and obviously all the runoff goes into the lake. Mitigated that. So that was one of the orders of condition. It wasn't an order, but it was just something we did in the design. We tried to do it, you know, put some wish list stuff. And if you look at the street side, the the, the ex extension here is in front is just to get a, a front entrance now, right? As it is when I showed you that first picture of the the side deck with the stairs. That was the main entrance to the house. It was a cape that was turned sideways. So now the front entrance is where it should be, and the gable is reversed. So 
it's more in common with what's in the neighborhood, as you can tell from the pictures. And, mm -hmm. and uh, th this particular lot also slopes down, too. So uh, I know one of the things that came up in the, the email, too, was uh, the height issues. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be um, like almost just a little shy of eight feet taller overall because we're actually doing a, uh, the walkout basement on the, on the lakeside. So that's, yeah. Right now, the, the land slopes down. If you look at both sides, they were going to do retention on both sides of that lot. Now. But the lot from the street all the way down just slopes directly into the lake. So. Basement finished? What's that? Basement going to be finished? Yes. It is now. So, so what's the tallest point of this house going to be from the, found, from the foundation? Is that 36 feet on the That's right on side? the lake side, yeah. What's, what's the rule? Is it 35 feet? You have to take the average of the, of the whole structure. So in the front, it's 27, 9 inches, and okay, in the back, so it's 36. So when you average it out, it comes out under 35. So you're going to make it then? Yeah, oh, yeah. I just don't want to send you out of here with something wrong and have to have you come back. That's well, all. And the other thing, I think most times if you stay within that uh, from the street side, um, they don't like to see my, my, anything more than 34 feet. So. Okay. Okay, um, what, what's the percentage of square foot you're increasing? Oh, uh, the increase is like, I don't know, was it three, almost 300 feet? 300 square feet? Okay. Um, I don't have any questions. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Does the board have any no. comments, questions? I have two questions. Uh, the question about the two offices, one up and one down. <laughs> Bedrooms got in the future? No, there's, a, there's actually right right now the house is a, is a three bedroom house now. It's staying a three bedroom. Yeah, but they got the three bedroom, but you got those two offices. I mean, they're pretty good sized offices. Yeah, well, that's not. Well, that's, uh, I mean, the, the, the bedroom is on the, on, really on the, on, the, on the first floor is the master. But that loft doesn't have. That, in fact, we're, I don't even know that we're still talking about whether or not even put that dormer on the other side. We don't have the total number back from the insurance company, so that might just wind up being just is that, is that more loft, of a storage. What's is that? that loft in, in floor to ceiling, or is that a rail? Say that again? The, the loft office, is that a floor to ceiling wall or a rail? Floor to ceiling. So it could be a bedroom then. There's no closet either. No yeah. closet, right. But see that little spot right there? It's a good point. <clears throat> so, do you want to condition it not to be a bedroom? Yeah. We're in the zone two, so no matter what, they have to have it as. You know, I think it goes, it gets recorded in the registry that's if you have a three bedroom, it's a three bedroom. Your saw is a three bedroom too. You, you can't. Well, it's not so much for them; it's the next owner. Right, but what I'm saying is. Everybody knows what they're buying in, in, in the zone two. So even if it's, well, I've built a lot of these, believe it or not, it's like 2,500 square foot, one bedroom house. And it's truly a one bedroom house. The whole upstairs is in like a master or something like that. You could easily take some of the rooms downstairs and call it another bedroom if they did. But, but it's still part of your deed. Their deed will show, reflect this when it gets recorded in the registry that it's a three bedroom, now it stays a three bedroom. Yeah, but the point is, there are also two offices. Two offices is a little unusual. Well, it's, it's not an uh, the, the You got an office on the first floor, and you got an office on the second floor. We have a business? Well, I do. I Brian's an yeah. investigator for the state police. I'm a he was a retired, I'm state, retired police. state police detective, but I, I uh, run a uh, private investigator, yeah. investigative company now. We seem to be running into this that you have these offices that could easily be used as a bedroom, but I don't so, know how we can condition that. But it's, it does seem a little unusual to have two offices. Is and hers? Well, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> saves a lot of fighting. How many people in the family? It's just, yeah, but that's like back in the day when boy, they finished the basement and didn't put a bed down there, you know. Children still live with you? So do this, you want to condition it that those two shouldn't, be, shouldn't become bedrooms? Shouldn't become bedrooms. Should not be, yeah. 
plus it's going to be in the deed like Dan said is a so Right. Issues with septic as well, I would that. imagine, based on the number right. of bedrooms increasing. You have to make sure the septic system could handle such an increase. And now this is in a resource area, you'd have probably a number of hurdles to go through for that. So are you okay with that if they condition it? Well, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you got that, Joe? Mm -hmm. That's it for me. Anybody else? So the only other... Uh, condition that we put in kind of boilerplate is the 30 days to remove the demo re uh, debris just in case you could decide to go to Hawaii in the middle of all this I, mean, I need 30 hours that's it well, that, you, you know how we always we always condition it so so you understand is thir you have 30 days when you want you tear the house down to get rid of all the debris not a lot left there that's for sure well there's still uh, quite a bit of material there there's quite a bit especially you know like that like the, the the chimney requires a separate Entity to take that out because it's considered red brick is considered hazardous hazardous waste. Yeah, it's its whole different animal by itself okay. um, We're up against it anybody in the audience to speak in opposition to this Doesn't appear to be a problem Mr. Yes. Anybody in the audience to speak in favor of this other than the petitioners Doesn't appear to be anybody um, Anything else that you want to add? No. Okay. Can we have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So what we are looking for is a special permit to allow for a reconstruction of a fire damage dwelling with a larger volume area and building footprint. Can we have that motion? So moved. Second. Uh, Dan. Yes. Paul. Yes. Scott F. Yes. Jim. Yes. And I will also vote in the affirmative. So you're on your way. Uh, Dan realizes there's 14 days to write the decision. There's a 21 day appeal period. After that, you're home free. Okay. Uh, I, I can go at my own risk, though, right? You can go at your own risk. Yes. I just wanted to say that for I had day. that conversation with one of my colleagues just a little while ago saying, after that he gets that decision, he's going to tear that thing down and put the foundation in. Well, what, yeah, be, only because of weather, I understand. We're, we're up against it, so that's yeah. why. It, it looks good. I wish you luck. <coughs> yeah, sorry it had to happen sorry, to yeah. you. Sorry for your loss. Thanks. Well, we appreciate you having this special meeting for this, too. Well, we really appreciate that. Seems like uh, a lot of people in town are really helping them out. Good. So. That's good. Good. All right. All right. Good luck, folks. Thank you very much. Have Have a night. Home. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Joe, what else you got? Anything besides this map of one of the next meetings are? <laughs> no, that's it. So you don't have to take any motion or anything tonight. Um, we can do that at the next regular meeting. Not addressing um, that letter today. Uh, no. Oh, um, so just take a look at it. See, we'll see if there's you know a date where folks just happen to have vacation books. Like if you know a few handful of you have vacation booked in June or something, we can try to adjust the date. Okay. Um, so we just want to get it to you a little bit in advance since mm -hmm. we have the time mm -hmm. uh, to go ahead and do that. So that's it. So no, no other meeting this month. Uh, there okay. will be on the 16th. 16th. The, that will be the regular meeting. Um, but we just wanted you to get, and we'll do the vote to approve the schedule at that meeting. Um, but we just want to get it to you in advance so you can check your check your vacation schedule for 2023 and see if we have to shift anything. Okay. Get that, Paul? Check your vacation schedule. Yeah, you vacation guys. <laughs> I have a motion to close this meeting. I'm broke now. So, <laughs> so moved. Second. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Okay, boys. Short and sweet. Hey, well, I think the